there guys and welcome back to card review so today we are looking at resurrectome or rebible or whatever they want to go ahead and name this thing and uh, so far it's a pretty decent card so I'm gonna go ahead and go over it because as you can tell by the picture it's obviously in Japanese you really can't uh, uh, read it unless you can read Japanese so I'm gonna go ahead and just read it to you also if you need to like sit down and uh, go over the effect yourself the link I mean the de in the description the effect will be there so, Rebible is a Earth Psychic Tuner effect. Level 1, 700 attack, 300 defense. It's a card, it's in a Duelist Advent or Duelist Alliance or whatever the hell they're deciding to name the pack. The effect is, you can only use the effect of Resurrect Tome once per turn. This card is in your graveyard and you have less cards in your extra deck than your opponent. The damage of 5 or more, you can pay 2,000 life points, special summon this card. If this card is special summoned this way, Bench this card when it leaves the field. So, the way that it's worded and the way that you're reading it, uh, yeah, it's pretty much glow up, Bob. <laughs> so, I love how Konami does these, like, re modifications and reprints of previous cards. And the thing I like about it is it pretty much confirms that the card that's currently banned isn't coming back. It's obsolete. Here, use the new one. And this isn't the first time this happened. Uh, for example, we have uh, Card Card D which is pretty much the replacement for Pot of Greed. So instead of just playing a card and drawing two, you gotta normal summon the monster, you gotta completely end your turn, you gotta draw two, it can't be special summon, there's a whole bunch of stipulations added onto the card just to make it more balanced. We also have like uh, Fitch, Fishborg, uh, was it Fishborg Launcher? Which is the replacement of Fishborg Blaster, which is, you know, banned. And pretty much this is a uh, entire remake of uh, of uh, Glow Bulb. You know, they pretty much have the similar effects, they're both a double synchro, but this one has much more restrictions and it's not as flexible as Glow Bulb. So, it, this is pretty much say, Konami saying, like, yeah, you know, Glow Bulb's not coming back here. Use, use Resurrect Home, alright? It's, it's close, right? Oh, well, let's just go down the things in, about this card and just completely analyze it. So, uh, it's a psychic and it's level 1. So you can summon it for one for one, and you can also summon it through emergency teleport, which would be awesome. And that's definitely what I like about it, is that it is a psychic. So you can go ahead and just go emergency tele summon it. There's a level one tune on the field, and you can go ahead and sync with whatever else is on the field. When it's in the graveyard, on the other hand, it's not as flexible. The thing that kind of is kind of like, eh, is having the extra deck difference from your opponent be five or more. Like, that's big. So... Literally, if your opponent has summoned absolutely nothing from their extra deck and they have 15, you gotta be at 10 or less. And, you know, extra deck space is definitely a big thing. You know, we're constantly hounding about how we would love some more extra deck space, maybe put it up to 20, but, you know, dropping yourself down to 10 just to use this card, that's already hard enough to pull off. And not only that, but you also gotta pay 2,000 life points. That's a solemn warning! That's, that's, that's 2,000, you know? You know, there's a, and there's a huge stipulation between paying a certain amount of life points and then paying half. Half, half could be anything. If this card said pay half and you were down in the duel and you only had 200 life points left, you can always pay half. But 2,000, you know, 2,000 is a nice chunk of your life points. Like I said, that's a solemn warning. Sometimes you won't even have 2,000 life points to summon this card from your graveyard, so you can double synchro, you can pull it off, it's just the problem with um, having that 5 difference in the extra deck, that's pretty much the biggest problem with this card, that if you didn't have to have the 5 difference, that really wouldn't be a problem, but because that 5 difference, that's just less monsters that you're going to be able to synchro summon into, less the, you know, your, your extra deck's not going to be as flexible. So, I mean, that's pretty much all I got to say about this card. I mean, it's pretty much Glow Bob just remade. So, uh, once again, we Konami is doing another one of these cards that just confirms that the card's been banned. We thought that Glow Bob might have came off, you know, with Sylvan's doing well, but this pretty much uh, it's the nail in the coffin for Glow Bob. So, once again, another card in the ban list bites the dust, and he's pretty much been sentenced to death. That, you know what, we have your replacement right here, so we really don't need you, you know, frickin' up the game, all right? So, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, another card review. Thank you guys for watching, thank you guys for all support, and I will see you guys next Tuesday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.